Black Panther is a world leader. That's a responsibility that, that other superheroes don't commonly have. That he has to look out for an entire nation. Soon, there will only be the conquered and the conquerors. The Dora Milaje are women who pledged their lives to the throne and to the security of the kingdom. Wakanda forever! My character, Okoye, is the general of the armed forces as a whole. Okoye represents the old guard and tradition, while my character, Nakia, challenges tradition. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Nakia was born to be a warrior. She was born with a warrior spirit. I got into a disagreement. <laughs> Made a bit of a mess. It was very, very interesting. The Dora have a way of fighting that was supposed to be inspired by moving as one. The Dora work together to take down somebody, like the fight we have with Killmonger. Step into the spotlight. The action's there. It's not your typical film. It's raw. It's real. Step into the spotlight. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. How much more are you hiding? The film's about Panther, but the film is equally about Wakanda. We'll see T'Challa's friends, people we ask the answer to, you know, when he's sitting on that throne. Wakanda's walls have been up since its inception. It's the best kept secret in the world, because they have something the world wants. They have this natural resource that kind of thrives off of. They mine it, they use it in technology. It's very sought after by anybody who's ever come in contact with it. Black Panther has to look out for an entire nation and then also consider that nation's place and how they affect the rest of the world. To see an African country with kings and queens and warriors, it's so inspiring. It's just an incredible world to occupy. Step into the spotlight. What's going on for that? We are home. My son, it is your time. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Uh, amazing carpet, you know, the big setup right here, Hollywood and Highland. I love seeing a movie for the first time in a packed theater. It's gonna be good. We've all been waiting for this day for so long. I know that the cast, we feel really blessed to have had the opportunity to tell the story, and people are really excited to see it. We're really excited to see it. It's amazing that so many people have already bought tickets. I've seen the movie. I can assure you that it's gonna be an amazing experience. Tonight is pretty exciting to be able to share it with folks for the first time. You know, it's, it's pretty, pretty exciting. Also nerve-wracking, but <laughs> this movie finally coming to life is, a, is a, a dream come true. In a lot of ways, feels like a highlight of my time in Marvel. It's the culmination of so much time and love and effort and enjoyment and excitement. Sharing it is, is a really big moment for us. It's really big. Oh man, it's like a dream come true. It's all of these months of hard work and just dedication and now getting the chance to see it, like I'm super excited. Show off. This never gets old. It's obviously a, a hugely impactful film. Perfect for now. It's about time this film has been made. I think, you know, the great cast that Ryan Cooper has assembled. I'm just jazzed to be part of it. I'm really excited be part of it. Let's have some fun. It completely stands out in the whole Marvel Universe and that's what's really exciting about the film. The concept of it within the Marvel Universe reflects its standing within the world. It's a secret and it's like no other. I mean, we've never seen anything like Wakanda before. This is about everyone coming to Wakanda through this movie. I think people are going to be blown away by the technology, but I don't want to give anything away. They still got to wait till February 16th in order to see it.
good evening or good morning, depending on where you are in the world. The last few weeks have been incredibly challenging for me. Um, you know, I want to talk about spiritual warfare and coming under spiritual attacks. You know, people hate what they do not understand and or what they cannot physically have. Um, my, this week, my character came under spiritual attack. Um, I was accused of stealing an item I did not steal. Um, after the company charged my card in excess of thousand dollars twice um, the next minute <laughs> they called and reported that I had stolen the item thank goodness I get text alerts on my phone that is a very important thing to have um, is text alerts but you know what sometimes companies will go after the publicity no matter whether it's good or bad negative or false or whatever they just want the publicity. But in this case, I am not mentioning the name of the company who accused me of theft after they asked me for cash. Me going, it's not a lot of people that can walk in my shoes or endure what I have endured over the last 20 plus years getting where people think I am. Um, it's a huge task. There's a scripture that um, in the Bible that I would like to talk about and it says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy I came that they may have life and have abundantly and then there's Matthew 18 it says truly I tell you whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about everything and they ask for it, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. The accusations made against me were horrible. Um, and thankfully, I was saved because the, the whole situation could have went so much differently. Um, one thing that is great to have with your credit card company is text alerts. If I did not have text alerts, it would be a whole different situation for me. So thankfully I have that. Um, it could have went so differently. My life could have been in serious danger for what they accused me of. It could have went so much differently. Um, thankfully I'm I stay in constant prayer, but um, let's look at a film clip from a film called Black Panther that's coming in theaters soon. And I had to share this with you about what's going on in my life because you may be affected by the same type of harassment. Um, the person asked me, he said, we're gonna look, let's see the film clip in a minute, he said, are you married? He goes, if I want to get at you, how would I get at you? I should have been on alert then, but I wasn't. And the person also asked me to give their employee cash. Should have known, but I'm not mentioning the name of the company. I'm not going to give them the publicity they brought. 